Hey everyone, it's Epoch here with some news concerning the Suicide Squad franchise. On July 3rd, Warner Brothers Japan released a trailer for a Suicide Squad anime series called Suicide Squad Isekai. Animated by Wit Studio and directed by Eric Osada, from scripts by Tapei Nagasaki and Eiji Umehara, the show is an original anime series based on the Suicide Squad. The synopsis for the show reads as follows. DC's Harley Quinn, the Joker and the Suicide Squad rampage onto the stage of Isekai. The most maddening worlds collide in an epic and violent fantasy with the strongest lineup of anime creators. Isekai means another world, which is now one of the most popular genres for the Japanese anime. The series will feature character designs by Naoto Hosed and design drafts by Akira Amano. Concerning the designs, Amano said this, I'm a big fan of Harley Quinn and the other characters in the Suicide Squad movie. Eric Asada's clear vision for Harley's design made the process smoother than expected, and I enjoyed drawing her costume and muscles while imagining her action-packed adventures in the story. Scriptwriter Eiji Umehara had this to say, What would happen if the fascinating characters of DC Comics went to another world? I am honoured to be involved in a work with such a boyish, straightforward idea. I drew a variety of villains with one goal in mind, to make Harley look cute. I hope you will join me in enjoying and enlivening this world. Harley Quinn first appeared in The Joker's Favor, the 22nd episode of Batman the Animated Series, as both the lover and accomplice of The Joker. Her first comic book appearance was in The Batman Adventures number 12, which was a tie-in series to the animated show. Harley's first appearance in mainstream DC continuity was in Batman Harley Quinn, also appearing as The Joker's lover and accomplice. In the comics, The Joker first appeared in Batman number 1. He has had various origin stories over the years, but the most common story involves him falling into a vat of chemical waste which bleaches his skin white, turns his lips bright red, and dyes his hair green. This disfigurement drives him insane. He is also a criminal mastermind and expert chemist and uses a variety of weaponized props and toxins. The Joker is also the long-term love interest of Harley Quinn. The trailer also confirmed that Amanda Waller will be appearing on the show. Amanda Waller made her comics debut in Legends No. 1. She is a high-level government bureaucrat with an almost completely classified record. She is the ruthless creator and director of Task Force X, better known as the Suicide Squad. So let me know in the comments below, you excited for an isekai anime series based on the Suicide Squad, and which other Suicide Squad characters would you like to appear? If you enjoyed this video then please hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to share it with your fellow comic book and anime fans. Thanks for watching.